when we come into organizations and we start thinking about inclusion, when we start thinking about the employee experience, the last thing we're thinking about is the idea of home. When we do our work, we need to centralize home as an experience for people within our organizations. Because for us, we see organizations as homes, as houses, where we spend more days there than we do at our own homes. There is a series of relationships, their roles, their responsibilities, their power structures, right, within that space. We need to start seeing the idea of home within our space and start fostering that idea of home within our spaces. So the work of inclusion, let's just make some, something, uh, something clear. This home that we're in, organizations, are never going to be 100% comfortable for everyone. And we're not trying to get to 100% comfort, because if, let's say, I'm a nudist and I want to show up naked every <laughs> single day, it's just not going to work, right? There's some barriers, which is fine, right? So what we're really trying to do is how do we create a space that is more comfortable for more people? And when we're talking to the homeowner, the people who identify with that, as well as the people who don't, we're calling inclusion a skill set, not an end point. We don't get to a point where we now, oh, we're inclusive, fantastic. It's a constant working on it, right? And one of the skill sets for us is negotiating, creating space, and creating more comfort. And the starting point is understanding the personification of the home.